Arrays are a vital aspect in game development. You use them all the time and in this video I'll show you everything you need to know about using arrays in a new engine. In order to understand arrays you need to know about variables first. In one of my earlier videos I explained that a variable is a piece of data stored in a container. An array lets you store multiple of the same type like text, integers or actors inside a single container. To make an array click this button in the details panel. Select array and use the plus button to add entries. You can have duplicates and add as many as you want. What's important to understand is that arrays aren't just lists, they are ordered. Each entry gets an index starting at zero and stays in that order unless it's changed. Here's a couple of examples of what arrays can do. Arrays can store multiple actors to talk of visibility, they can store multiple text entries for a dialogue system, or you can make a whole inventory system using structs. As you can see, arrays are very versatile and they can be used in a lot of different ways. But they are most interesting when used during runtime. Using blueprints you can change the content of arrays at any point. Here are some array tools that you will use all the time, including one I use in almost every blueprint I make. To start you have add and this will create a new entry at the bottom. You can also remove an entry by index by using remove index. Insert also adds an entry but at a specific index, shifting the other entries. Set array alum does the same as insert, however it overrides the old index. Add unique will only add an entry when there isn't a duplicate in the list. Clear clears the entire array and with the contains node you can check if the array contains a specific item and it will output a boolean. The for each loop is a node that I use in almost all of my blueprints. Pair the top with your array and it will fire off functionality for every single entry of your array. The find item node will search for the item in the array and outputs the index. To return the content of an item at a certain index, you use a get. There's two versions of get, ref and copy, and with ref, the changes you make to the item will go back into the array, whereas with copy, the changes you make will not go back into the array. With the length node, you will get the amount of items the array contains. The shuffle node will reorganize the array, and lastly, the last index will give you the last index number of the array. And that should be everything you need to know about arrays. So, arrays store multiple items in an ordered list and allow duplicates. You can access and edit them anytime. Perfect for dialogue, inventory systems and a lot more. Arrays work with singular variable types and to get to know everything about those, make sure to watch a video that's on your screen right now.